Welcome to another bite-sized segment of Locals Only. Our first stop is Comex Fusion, which has perfected the art of blending Korean food with Mexican. We are meeting with Linda, the co-owner of Comex, who was nice enough to bring out almost one of everything on their menu. Don't worry, we didn't eat it all. Just most of it. All right, Linda, Scott, nice, to, nice meet to meet you. you. Jeff. Jeff, very nice, nice to, meet to meet you. So we have a whole buffet going on right here. We call this the combo nacho fries, obviously, because there's nachos on the bottom, but it has made with beef bubbly. So it's basically your Mexican dish, but we with a twist of the Korean. So it has the Korean meat, there's mozzarella cheese, pico de gallo, jalapeno, and a Korean hot sauce that, that was put on top of it. Kind of sweet, a little bit of a taste to it. Wow. Oh, that's so good. The meat, the steak, it's the got fugogi. a unique flavor uh -huh, to it. That's yeah, the Korean barbecue. A, yeah, that's wow. uh, how you, fugogi. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is how it's pronounced. You expect it to taste like something because it looks like something you've had before. Right. But then when you take a, a bite, the it's flavors you get are definitely like way different than you expect. All right. This one, we call it the tostada. We actually put a twist on it by putting it like a rice cake. Lightly deep fried, so it's kind of crunchy and soft. It's topped off with the Korean pork, the two kinds of cabbage marinated Korean style with pico de gallo and a Korean hot sauce. Wow. Well, the rice tastes like um like crispy rice that mm -hmm. you get at like a right. sushi restaurant. Yep. Yep. Then we have the burrito. It has the Mexican rice, it has the Korean barbecue beef, it has lettuce, it has pico de gallo, two kinds of onions, it has cilantro, a little bit of a sesame oil based sauce. So if you like a little bit of kick, that is a great sauce to add. That is so good. I have never had this like food in my life. So now we have a twisted yeah. classic American. So it's like your Philly cheesesteak, but it's our home ex's Pugogi cheesesteak. So it is a, a Korean marinated oh meat with two kinds God. of cheese, has bell pepper, it grills wow. onions. Oh my goodness. That is on a different level. I am a yeah. huge cheesesteak fan. This is one of the best cheesesteaks I've ever had. The theme so far the, is the beef. Yeah, the beef. I'm bulgogi. 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 Uh -huh. That's it. I mean, that's it. Just it's something you've it never had. It tastes lighter than normal steak. If you ever go to Korea, the actual flavor for the bulgogi is like this. It's not too sweet, overly sweet, but it's just a little bit tad enough just to yeah. make that little bit of sweetness. And so when people who have visited Korea will come here and say, "Oh my God, this is like the bulgogi I had in Korea." And our last item on here yeah. is our chimichanga. Let's, this is the chimichanga. Oh Deep fried burrito. People look at it and they're like, wow, when they first see it. That's there's, just, there's a whole lot going on. Uh, there's a Mexican rice, the meat, and there's cheese inside before we deep fry it. Comex got their start because they owned a Spanish market and were all fluent in Spanish, but they would always bring their homemade Korean food. It began to take off with one employee, then two, and kept growing until they realized they gotta do something about this. So we took a chance and opened up of the restaurant thinking, well, maybe, you know what? We have a few regulars, if, if at all, if we sold $300 a day, we can still pay our bills and we'll be fine. Oh, well, well, so congratulations. Cool. And Thank you so luck. much. It's, it's just so fantastic, it really is. I mean, we love hearing these stories. Well, We're enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> enjoy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank this you. Has been such Thank a pleasure. Thank you so much. Us. Thank you for coming by. Thank you to Linda and the buffet of Comex Fusion Food, which has two locations in Vegas. I'll be dreaming of that cheesesteak for days. Comex, oh, that was the best. But now, onto some hardcore bar food with our man from Southie, Bruce, and his hooligans, who let's just say they take that term bar food to a whole new level, like five-star restaurant level. This dude makes Goodwill hunting look like some Backstreet Boys. Bruce. Officially, finally, nice to meet you. You've let us into your home. You've let us see your artwork. I got, I got another story now. This, this kitchen is a madhouse. Uh, we take a fresh approach to bar food, looking for more of a sophisticated bar food kind of. I don't want to go full on gastro pub. Yeah. I mean, this is bar food. You know, just done right. You know. It's bar done, food. done better than night. Yeah, I was going to say, it's bar food that you've never seen. You know, when you're letting us back here, there's no freezer, there's no microwave. Everything is cut fresh. We've even seen them make chicken fingers where they take the chicken breast, they dice it, they bread it, they have their special seasonings, everything. It's been uh, stuff I've learned in things like the Juicy Lucy. It's uh, right. Detroit, you know what yeah. I mean? So how do we make it Vegas? How do we go right. over the top, you know? 
let's stuff appetizers inside. <laughs> you know? um, the wing sauces. Uh, that's been something I've been working on since I was drinking in the backyard at home with my friends in Boston. And we're trying to come up with the hottest sauce we can burn each other's mouths the <laughs> When we were back here, we were watching and, uh, a burger getting made. Can you tell everyone out there what exactly the hangover burger is? Two third pound packets, four ounces of ham, bacon, and sausage inside, home fried potatoes inside, and cheddar cheese. We finish it with more cheddar cheese, caramelized onions, and an egg any style on top. When it's done, it's about a pound and a quarter. Holy shit. And, uh, and you serve it on a trip. <laughs> this is some of the best food and one of the coolest kitchens I've been in. Like to see you guys do your thing and just hang out. Right. Well, it's too bad you have the mics, we could have the music going like normal, you can't even hear that. Too. I'm sure there's no. another keg that we can tap into. And, uh, well, we have quite a few. We got to talk to the North system yeah. and the It's not hard. It's, yeah, I know. It's ridiculously oh. good food that you just find in a bar. In a bar. So have you been cooking just all your life? You just as a kid, or just something yeah. you're passionate about? Yeah, I started about? out as a kid. I watched my mom, I learned from my mom, and then um, I just started working in a place. and. Uh, Never stop. I've uh, opened a lot of restaurants. I spent most of my 20s and early 30s um, as a corporate trainer working in different chains in different states, teaching people how to cook. I got to do a lot of traveling around the country. I was always that guy that's, okay, we're in Louisiana, I'm eating alligator. Let's find it. <laughs> that's you know awesome. I mean? like, that's how it should be. Uh, that's, that's the whole point of this show, too. Yeah. It's like, we don't want to get what you can get anywhere else. We want what, what the person who's cooking it is going to recommend, you know? Oh, well, That's my, what's so my partner's cringe when I start mentioning I'm doing for house steak and alligator. <laughs> They're like, what are you talking about? Like, trust me. Yeah. They're like, I don't know. I'm like, just trust me, you know? Yeah, it's awesome. It's such a, a crazy, diverse mix of friends, too, you were saying. So people from, from South Central, you're from Boston, you got guys from the islands, like, all over. And you're all yeah. bonding over me, food, and yeah. having fun. America, not you know, food is the great analyzer. It's so true. It's what happens, you know. That's awesome. Well, Bruce, thank you so much for having us. It's been an absolute We're gonna, we're gonna literally get out of your kitchen and uh, <laughs> grab some drinks and have some beer. food and stuff. And get some food. All right, that's Let's awesome. Thank you so much. Bruce is a legend in my book, as is his bar. So much so that we didn't stop talking or drinking until it was too late. Our camera crew thought it was best not to film after five shots of Jameson, and I tend to agree. Just take my word for it, the food is something you have to try for yourself. It is worth it. If you like what you see, please follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'll Venmo you a beer.